My voice might crack this entire video, but we're just gonna keep on tracking. What's up guys? I'm just uploading a quick little video today to basically just give you some motivation and to tell you not to stress. Paula, are you a professional motivational speaker? No, I'm not. But I am a real person who goes through real life things and who has a lot of stress in her life. And I've just been thinking a lot about stress and how we get so worked up over everything when really it doesn't matter. Life gets stressful, whether you're in high school, in college, graduated, trying to find a job, trying to be in a relationship, anything that goes on in life, something can go wrong and it can just give you so much stress and it can be overwhelming. It can be really hard to deal with that stress. Maybe you get a lot of anxiety very easily or just things overwhelm you and you don't know what to do and it's, it's hard to catch your breath and keep up with things because there's so much going on. So when I say don't stress, I'm not trying to offend anybody like if you have anxiety and it's really hard for you to deal with stress, like don't take this message personally. I'm just saying don't stress, don't overthink things, don't cause yourself stress because I think a lot of the times when we're stressed, it's, it's because of us. It's because we're overthinking something. It's because we're, we're expecting the worst and we're thinking very negatively. When something may turn out very positive and it may go in an upwards direction, but in our heads we're just like, no, this is gonna go horribly, blah, blah, blah. Oh God, I'm freaking out now. So it sometimes just takes ourselves and our will and our power just to step back and think, is, is it necessary for me to be thinking these thoughts right now or could I be saving myself a lot of stress? Last night I tried something for the very first time in my life and that was meditation. And I never thought I would sit down and actually focus and try to meditate. But when you do, it helps so much. It clears out all of your thoughts. You sit there and you focus on your breathing and you breathe in the good and you breathe out the bad. And I started with a, it was like a 10 minute little guided meditation. So you're just sitting there, there's calming music and someone talks you through what you should be breathing in and what you should be breathing out. And I didn't think those 10 minutes would just change my outlook so much, but it really did. It is so easy to get caught up in life and you think, I don't have time for anything, I don't have time for this, and there's just so much I have to do. But it helps so much to take 10 minutes out of your day find somewhere cozy, sit down, turn off the lights, put in some music, close your eyes, and think. There are so many distractions in the world around us, and it's hard to block them all out, it really is. But if you can force yourself to do that a couple times a week, maybe five minutes here and there, and think about why you're stressed, and honestly just breathe in the success and the positivity that you can have in your life, and breathe out all the bad. I'm not trying to sound like some Zen master right now. Like honestly, I meditated for the first time yesterday. So I'm not an expert in anything, but it's just crazy when those 10 minutes are up and you open your eyes and suddenly everything just feels okay and you just feel so relaxed. I got super stressed out about classes last night, trying to sign up for classes for next semester and it's, it's overwhelming. There's so many classes to choose from. You need to have this, this, and this in order to graduate. I need to work on my major and my minors. I'm adding a minor and like, I don't know what I'm doing with my life. But you just need to step back and realize everything is going to be okay. Signing up for classes is stressful and currently I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm missing a class. I don't have enough credits. I don't know. But at the end of the week, everything's gonna turn out fine. I'm gonna have classes for next semester and there's no reason to get worked up about it. Same goes for whatever you're stressed out about. I stress out about homework and tests and papers and I tend to save things for the last minute and bust out a paper in three hours and then I'm like, wow, this was really crappy. But in the end, it's done, right? Like there was no reason to stress. You got it done, you turned it in, and you'll probably get a decent grade on it. I stress out about friends and boys and if someone can't hang out with me that I was really looking forward to, I was like, well shoot, now what am I gonna do? And then you realize, wait, I have the whole night to myself and that's probably the best thing that could have ever happened. In the end, some not so great things are going to happen to you in your life and we can't really control that. That's just the way life works, to be honest. But the way we think about it and the way we handle it, we can control. Everything happens for a reason. I 100% stand by that. 
things aren't good right now, they will be good later. And that's all you have to remember. So if sometime in this next week you feel so overwhelmed, so stressed, you don't know how to deal with it, think about, think about your situation, take a step back, deep breaths. Honestly, we breathe so many times a day we don't even think about it, but when you start to think about it and you take fulfilling deep breaths, that is when things will start to be okay and you can start to clearly kind of deal with the situation that you have. So that's all I got for today. Hopefully you guys could take some inspiration from this. I just, I personally want to be more of a relaxed, just calm person and I think everyone else should try to do the same instead of constantly going 80 miles per hour trying to do this, 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 and this. Like, you're not going to get anything done if that much is going on right now. I will link down below the meditation video that I tried last night. Take some time out of your week, just 10 minutes of this whole week and try it and tell me how you feel. Leave a comment. Make sure you subscribe if you like this video and give it a thumbs up as well. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Bye.